hey, can you keep a secret? Listen, I have inside information on the self-quarantine app here in Ukraine, really because it's messing up a lot of people's vacations. But here's the thing, I don't want to be irresponsible in these pandemic times. Uh, so I'm going to share this with you under your promise to be socially responsible with this inside information. Deal? If you're like most people in most countries, summer is practically closed for fun for the summer 2020. The good news is, it's party central here in Ukraine. Ukrainians are out and about and having a good time. Most things are functioning as normal. Here's some footage in the Kiev Beach Club. We were just there at the end of June. Now, having said that, I realize it's a epic clusterfuck trying to get to Ukraine. From booking your tickets, flights being canceled, insurance, self-quarantine. There's a myriad of issues which can make your trip a nightmare. However, this video is designed together with the research report in the Google Docs link below to make your trip as smooth and seamless as possible. Well, just got kicked out of Terminal D here at Borsville Airport. So unless you're flying, you're not allowed into Terminal D. Well, we went to Terminal B because that's where they say the COVID-19 testing is. But guess what? It's a ghost town at Terminal B like Bob when we showed up there. So just trying to verify that there is COVID-19 testing for 78 bus here at Borskill Airport. Haven't been successful in verifying that yet. I'm Chris. I'm Carly, and I'm also from Washington, D.C. And what about COVID-19 testing? Did they offer you or say anything about testing inside Bearsville Airport? I did not hear anything inside, but they did take our temperatures and they gave us the tracking app. Yeah. What did you do with the tracking app? Did you have a Ukrainian SIM card already? Uh, we had it lined up ahead of time. So uh, our driver had our SIM card and our codes for us, and we downloaded the app. Uh, two days in advance, so it was just ready to go once we got in the airport and got on Wi-Fi. We put our codes in there and we are going to go. Great. Um, any uh, pieces of advice overall about coming to Kiev now during Corona time? I would say the only advice would be to uh, make some contacts with uh, people in the city, figure out what you need as far as getting the app ahead of time. If we didn't talk to somebody ahead of time, we've been uh, very much behind the eight ball. Uh, especially because the app is not in English, we want to speak for maybe training. So, um, well, having the app installed was at least a good start. You see, the, how many people were on the flight? And, uh, like, uh, was it 50% full or what percent of capacity? The flight from Amsterdam to here was 100% full, I'd say. And it was uh, probably 180 people. So, it was max capacity, max, max luggage, and uh, I think they're turning away luggage from other flights. So. And, and what about the flight from what, DC? DC to uh, Amsterdam. Um, yeah, 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 DC to Atlanta, Atlanta to Amsterdam was 50% capacity. Uh, good spacing on the planes and um, no issues on the flight itself, just some scheduling issues and delays. Was everybody, everybody wearing a mask on the flight? Everybody was wearing a mask. How do you feel but that you have to self-quarantine when you get back home for two weeks? No one said anything to us yet, but uh, figure that one out. Maybe go get tested. We'll probably just get a test and we can have. Thanks, guys. Thanks right. very much. Appreciate that very much. There is the table of contents to the first page in our Google Docs Excel spreadsheet, which is your total go to guide for planning and executing your trip to Ukraine. It's an active link, guys. We're going to update it regularly as things unfold and change here in Ukraine, which they're doing pretty much daily. Now let's go through the main sticking points as you plan and execute on your trip to Ukraine. Point number one, you got to get a ticket that connects through to Kiev. Okay, it's not, it's challenging, but totally doable. Sticking point number two though is your flight might be canceled last minute, even the day before. Why is that happening? Simply put, there's not enough people 
booking tickets uh, to make the flight economically viable, which is 50% capacity. That's just past their black point or their break even point. Um, before COVID-19, there were about worldwide 30,000 flights. Then when lockdown happened, that dropped like a rock, of course, down to 2,000 flights approximately per day. Now we're only back to 7,000 flights per day. So that will get better, hopefully, as the summer unfolds. Um, but that is a risk you take if you're going to fly anywhere, really. And certainly it applies to flying to Ukraine. Sticking point number three is... Well, if you're from a red zone country, if you don't know what red zone and green zone is, look again in the Google Docs link uh, below. Then you have to self quarantine for two weeks. What a bummer. You got to lock yourself in your hotel room for two weeks. Well, thankfully, there is a workaround to that. You just need to be negative for COVID-19. And the link to all the laboratories uh, where you can get a COVID-19 test is in the Google Docs below. Uh, it's about $78. You can get them come right to your hotel room, some of the uh, clinics. Now, allegedly, here in Bearspool, Terminal D here where we are now, on the third floor, you can get a CSD uh, laboratory COVID-19 test, and they'll do it right there, and they will remove you from the self-quarantine app after your results come back negative. But we interviewed two Americans just got off the plane, they didn't see any signs or any indication of a COVID-19 testing area in Terminal D. If you're lucky enough to find that, great. If you please comment below if you were successful getting a COVID-19 test at Borspiel Airport. Now, since we're on the self-quarantine issue, you have to download the app. I suggest you download it. The link to the app is in the description below before you get to Ukraine. If you do not have a Ukraine phone number, there's two problems. You can't activate the app, which is not a total deal breaker because you can get a SIM card later after the airport. That's okay. But if you're going to do COVID-19 testing at the airport, they need a phone number. And that phone number is linked to the app so that when your results come back negative, they pull you out of the self-quarantine app. So if it's a different phone number, if you don't have a phone number, you're not going to be auto removed from the self-quarantine app. Now this self-quarantine app, it demands randomly that you take a selfie of yourself uh, so that they know you're being a good boy and you're self-quarantining. That's how that works. So just make sure you have the phone number. Now, if you're in a pinch and you want our help to get a Ukrainian phone number, no problem. Uh, we can send our driver to Borspiel to pick you up and he will have your Ukrainian SIM card. We will email that to you beforehand so you can give your Ukraine number at the border control on that on the uh, on the other side before we can meet with you okay sticking point number four is insurance you're required by ukraine law to have covid 19 insurance to the tune of thirty thousand euro to cover you in case you do get covid 19. you can buy that insurance and i highly recommend you buy it in advance from home put it on your credit card uh, again the best recommended private insurance companies are in the google docs link in the description below now the cost of the insurance, cheap like borscht. It's only 10 bucks for every two week period in Ukraine, and that's for a 30,000 euro package. Some of you might be wondering, okay, what happens in the unlikely event that you get COVID-19 when you're in Ukraine? Okay, private clinics are not covering treatment in Ukraine. So if you get it, you have to go to a public hospital. Now that can be disastrous, okay, if you go to the wrong public hospital. So we have linked uh, the reputable ones in the Google Docs document below, they will have a green. In fact, uh, it'll be green highlighted if we recommend it. It'll be red highlighted, things we um, don't recommend. In fact, we urge you to avoid. Shh. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be socially irresponsible with this information, so uh, I'm going to leave this information in your mature, responsible hands, okay? The reason I'm sharing this with you is because Here's what's happening to a lot of people. Okay, you do the COVID-19 test, it comes back negative. The app should release you from self-quarantine, but it doesn't. Some connection, connect the dots in Ukraine is not working, okay? And it's not releasing you from quarantine. You still get these random messages every one, two, three, four hours for a selfie. You don't feel like you can go out and enjoy your vacation here and you're locked down for two weeks as this app irresponsibly doesn't release you. 
So if this is you and only if this is you, please use this information. Okay. I have heard from a, a number of personal contacts, personal well-known connections in Ukraine of people that have, have either deleted the self-quarantine app and just ignored it, deleted it from their phone. They flew out, no consequences. Other people have completely ignored uh, the app when it uh, asks for a selfie. Other people have turned the locator off, uh, done all kinds of things. Basically, uh, as it's obvious, nobody's policing the app. Okay, so please use this responsibly only if you're negative for COVID-19 and the app won't release you from self-quarantine jail. Okay, fair enough. So guys, this is intended to be a community Ukraine travel update, exhaustive resource library for all you guys out there. So please feel free to come back and check out the Google Docs link below as we're updating it uh, as things change. But please guys, feel free to comment below with your experiences and any updates that you have. It will be much appreciated by the whole community looking to come to Ukraine this summer. Thanks guys, stay safe and have fun. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one, Ukraine a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.